Section 6, uh, Furniture, How to Repair and Restore, Cleaning and Care of Fabrics, Wood Repair, Laminated Wood, Structural and Functional Problems, Warp Wood, Upholstering, Making Cushion, Carrying Seating, Recanning a Chair, Kitchen and Dining Room, Chairs, Dining Room, Furniture, Patio, Lawn and Den and Chairs. Alright, Fabrics, Upholstery needs to be thoroughly clean, Method depends on the fabric, Synthetic Cotton and Cottons are often washable, most often fabrics require dry cleaning in between, however, most of the fabrics can be sponge cleaned safely, satisfactory with a foam from suds with mild detergent or commercial cleaning product and water, these use only foam, use only foam and wipe it off quickly, fabrics should not be soaked, test for color, fastness and the concealed area. Leather and vinyl, cleaning and either natural or artificial leather means more than mere removal of dirt and fingerprints. These should be sub supply suppleness must also be preserved. Saddle soap is excellent for the, all these respects as commercial wax may be used for appliances. Both are applied with a damp cloth and sponge buffed with a soft and dry cloth. Leather, leather cream made for shoes is a good occasional polishing for occasional polishing, mild detergent suds will rinse off buffled for spot clean, cleanings. Marking and stains of wood. Heat marks or wood generally show up with white rings or patches. Water marks are dark. In more instance, commercial fur furniture cleaners are usually directed on label with the correct of the condition. If you do not work, then try to clothe. We'll try try a cloth rubbing with a lighter fluid. Water spots have resistant treatment can often be removed by taking off thin top layer of finish. Surface rub with a cigarette ash or lemon juice. If this doesn't work, try rubbing rubber rot and stone into the light oil. Wipe clean frequently to see if the marks have been removed. If the mark was deep, you may have to furnish the area. Blend it carefully. Try minor cigarette burns. With commercial cleaner, if it fails with a rotten soap, rotten stone, or oil as described above, deep burns must be scraped away and the areas refinished to match its surrounding. A simple method of spot refinishing is to artist oil paints. Mix a color match and with your fingertip apply the coat as a possible to discolored area. Thin coat will dry quickly and harden finish with a thick one. Keep the coat thin and apply paint sparingly. Do not thin the paint with turpentine. The paint dries. Spray the area with the art, artist lacquer. Let it dry. Spray a second time to get it even sheen. Rub the surface with a tr triple zero grade steel wool. Then wax it to remove surface link and acid stains. Rub the discolored area lightly with a triple eight, triple zero grade steel wool. Abrasive paper, pumice rocks, and rotten stone. Um, deep stain may require refinishing by trying first try hand rubbing with a prom promise oil to remove the finish only to the same depth of the must with a brace with paper to take finish down the wood. Use the care not to cut the wood. Restoring color tone to match is difficult for valuable furniture. Maybe to burnish professional help caution before any repair method of fine finishing. Test this small concealed area to make sure it's suited to finish. Moving stains from marble. Most marble stains can be bleached out with a thick homemade paste made of hydrogen peroxide powdering white. Spreading the paste over the stain areas and a few drops of household ammonia. Keep the paste damp. Cover it with plastic wrap. Allow paste to stand on the surface for a few minutes and then wash it off. Page 149. 149. Correct minor defects, small abrasion wood surfaces often can be repaired without major refinishing varnish surfaces, for example, the merely brushing turpentine around the edge damage area. Turpentine lacquer liquefies and various varnishes which flow into the crack and crack hardens using the same technique. Lacquered surface with a lacquer thinner rather than turpentine common imperfection varnish wood is checking craze band on tiny surface cracks to correct the condition first scrub with a stiff brush mild detergent suds to let dry and apply the solution two parts turpentine three parts varnish four parts boiled lime seed oil rub the mixture into the check surface if all the cracks have not disappeared when the area is dried repeat the process deep scratch scrapes and scratches as a rule even fairly deep scratches scratches on Finished wood can be repaired quickly, easy with a stick shellac available. The variety of colors that in most hardwood stores can be found exactly with the color you need. Possibly blend several sticks together to desired hue. Simply heat the sticks over a uh, gas or alcohol like flame until the scallop flows and can be mixed. After you've selected the mixed colors and heat the hard shellac with a soldering iron unit, it, 
until it is soft enough to flow into the crack. Smooth the shock. Use a spatula that has been separate, heated over the alcohol. Flame carefully spaced and at of any excess then rub and repair the felt pit pad dipped in rotten, rotten stone to make it level with the surrounding surface. Or it scratch loose in blizzard burn veneer furniture furniture finished with veneer is subject to several types of damage within wood with any wood surface scratch abrasion common occurrence in addition however the veneer often pulls away from the base of the wood blistering small bubbles on the surface and another problem fix veneer all the defects usually simple to fix to provide repairs as made as soon as possible and not allowed to get worse yet veneer is brittle and delicate and minor damage left the unintended can quickly become a serious perhaps a rare irreparable condition loose veneer for example is more likely to split and chip than the veneer than it is tightly glued to the base wood to repair a simple scratch and abrasion, achieve the techniques we recommended on page 197 of the surface of vault, um, vaults on solid wood, working with loose veneer or blister. However, remember the material is thin and easily broken, requires special precautions. Put a damp cloth over the problem area and a hot iron on the top of the cloth. This will force the moisture into the veneer, making it more flexible, likely to split as you work with it. To repair loose veneer, sharpen out. Uh, Scrape out the old glue from the base with a small sharp knife, working it into it as far as possible. And the glue does not come up with the hot water from the sponge under a loose veneer. The water will eventually melt the glue, which can be scraped up with a knife. Reattach the veneer with the base with the white glue, then lay the plastic sheeting over the repaired area to keep excess glue from sticking with the water clamping device you use to hold the repair while the bonding is set. After the bond has set, wash away an excess glue with a hot water. If not possible, to the clamp to hold the bond wine wine masking tape tightly around the repair area. Some secure repairs neither neither be clamped nor taped by weight, such as a sandbag. Allow the bond to set for at least twelve hours before removing the clamp and the tape or sandbag. Plastic laminate repair, minor scratches, uh, scorches, rust rings, blank, black marks, cooking utensils left on bl plastic laminate sometimes respond to s scoring powder. Most serious damage will probably require patching. Laminate is a standard pattern of color. Match should be no trouble. Edge to edge patch is easier to make, less noticeable to patch or cement area versus all the old cement. Use lacquer thinner or the appropriate solvent it is to be. The, it can be scraped up prior to uh, pry up the laminate. With a small sharp knife, which you can solve it underneath, match a patch and score. Make a patch, scoring the outline, then cutting out the fine fin fine tooth hacksaw blade. Cut slightly beyond the scored mark, and then file down to the li from line. Sc score score the patch pattern onto the surface end being repaired. Scrap an excess glue using sharp knife. Cut a hole in the patch. Re 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 cement both the surface and clamp bond. Putting wax paper between the excess glue won't stick. Sticking drawers. A drawer can be st can stick because it's full or probably maybe the rough runners. Readily roughness. Remove the drawer, then use hard wax soap to lubricate with the runners. Draw edges and glide them along. Dampness can cause the wood drawers to expand. Suspect removal of the drawer. Check the signs where it binds. Use a plane to shave from the wood affected area. Loose roots, joints, and runners can be another cause. Reach inside and push the loose member back in place, and then remove the drawer. Glue loose member in position. If a drawer bottom is cloning loose from its frame, take out the drawer below and push up on the loose bottom to remove the drawer. Refasten the bottom as shown. Reinforcing weak shelves. How you reinforce weak and sagging bookcases, cabinets, shelves. It depends primarily on the type of the piece being fixed. For tool storage shall be a shelf, for example, where appearance does not matter. Kitchen cabinet. In which the joint made between shelf and upright is not usually visible. The reinforcement may involve nothing more than attaching an angle iron with no attempt to made with the conceal of the repair shelves. In the living room, bedroom, dining room, however, have generally should be strengthened in such a way that they are repair invisible. In any case, it would not detract the appearance of the piece. Sticking hinged doors, uh, dampness may be expanded by the wood fibers, so the door cannot close properly to redeem the Remedy the remove of the door and its hinge from the hinge and plane. The wood back and desiring level the placing a stroke two, two, two at a time, checking the fit frequently, deepening the hinge recess and compensating shaved off wood. 
Sticking sliding doors. Uh, sticking in the cabinet that runs in the track may be also caused by wood expansion. To correct it, remove the door and plane down the edges of the slide. The track lift the problem loosens, then trim the top and the bottom slides of the wood strips. How to correct warping. Warping is a natural tendency of wood, usually effective with the un unbraced element as a tabletop or a leaf. The result of the uneven expansion shrinkage could cause the moisture and heat. Heat and moisture can, put to, can be put to work, however. To help reverse the curl straight and surface and tabletop to be completely refinished, first remove old finish and soak with bare wood, then covering with rags, sawdust, other material that can be kept wet for, for four to five days. You must be able to cut a time cut this time of the day or so if you play apply steam from a household iron through the dampened material several times each day after so through soaking the wood will be pliable enough to benefit and clamping the reverse curl if you do not intend to com do the complete refinishing job concave surfaces under the underside and you will only need to strip the soak over the top surface homemade clamp to cure warping. A warp surface requires a clamp roughly every 10 inch length. We will probably need several straightened tabletop or leaf. A single clamp consists of two rough cut two by fours each place the same length. The several inches longer than the width of the surface will be repaired. Hold the two by fours together with a vice drill. Vice and a drill hold both ends of the through the both um, pieces are large enough to accept the one half and a quarter inch bolt. When the clamp is positioned, insert the bolts hand tight in the nuts using the washer under the nuts and the bolt heads, finishing the tightening of the wrench. Equally pressurized tightening of the turning, but only two or three turns, turning two or three times, then do the same to the next, next until all the bolts are tightened. When the clamps are secure, place the assembly in warm, dry room for several days. That during this period, loosen and quickly tight, retighten the bolts several times each day. This will prevent shrinkage, shrinkage cracks, refinishing, repair surfaces as soon as possible to seal it with against moisture. Upholstery. Retying and springs and rewebbing. Retying coil springs is easy to repair, worth worthwhile one. Condition of the springs determines not not just chair shape, but how comfortable it is to you sit on. Retie a spring, turn in a chair upside down, remove the dust cover of flashlight to look at the under webbing of the loose and broken tie. With scissors and sharp knife, cut away with a hinge twine, retie the spring with the upholster twin twine. Professionals use cloth hitch knot, but most all well well tied knot, even a square knot will do. Rewebbing is simple to to do. Webbing is inexpensive, so it pays the best to buy the best. Re recognize in a wood woven in a red stripe. Upholstery twine and needle do the best. Easily stitching job. Reinforcing uh, loose webbing. Easy to give give a sagging springs new lace on life. That means the plywood supr supr sur supports first strap away all warm webbing. Then cut two inch wide slats, one quarter inch, one half inch thick plywood, slightly shorter than the wide width of the chair of the sofa, uh, sofa bottom. You will need to slat each row of the spring screw each slat across the bottom of the chair. That rows the springs is centered on to the tie of the springs. To their respective flats of twine that they will not shift under pressure. The end of the each slat should be beveled slightly to so that they will not be visible. Of course, if the furniture has a skirt, this bevel is not necessary. The ends will be concealed. Installing helical springs and straps. Uh, in, in, in an ideal situation, helical holds the straps flat and not, and not spreading the coils. Under pressure of the coil opens the release and spring care, carefully measuring and key to successful insulation. If, for example, the frame opens 24 inches, each helical is 3 inches, each hook will produce 1 quarter inch from, from the frame straps for, should be 17 and a half inches long. On the flat frame, install screws eyes midways between top and bottom rails to then those slots or lips are installed directly. See sketches install spring attached straps 4 to 5 inches apart from the back first and side to side interweaving those side straps when the straps are in place. Tack a sturdy cloth over the prevent the contact with the cushion and the springs. How to use different filings. Cushions of the traditional will be filled with such a material the goose, the goose or duck down or feathers today. The variety of fibers using foam filled model, molded foam, rubber, poly, poly foam being most popular though, though comfortably soft, quickly regain their shape in the distortion foams available to sheeting of the crumb, both relatively inexpensive. 
sheet foam cutting a cardboard pattern desired shape at three quarters of an inch large are all around the actual size with a ballpoint pen trace the pattern of the two pieces of the two inch thick soft cavity from the rubber and sheet poly foam first pattern to the second piece so pieces will match exactly to put together cavity side of the cavity side and if the foam rubber side is up coat foam all the way around the tapered sides cement tapered edges and press together plum, plumber plumper cushion cut a piece of one half inch sheet foam polyethylene poly foam about two and a half inch smaller all around them the core foam and cement it between the two layers if over out uh, if the outer cover will be thick fabric muslin inner cover is advisable loose fittings just shape cushion filled with loose materials such as down or chrome poly foam and a permanent inner cover make fabric inner cover for down and feathers they will penetrate other fabrics to make inner cover cut two pieces of fabric into the desired size plush one half inch all around the seams the right sides together machine stitch and the pieces together with a double the French seams leaving the small opening insert fill outer cover is made same except one entire side is left open make a small hole in the corner of the bag filling the material plush into the opening of the inner cover and gently work the filling into the back of the cover waterproof cushions for the type of the cushion you will need polyethanol leather like vinyl one linear yard covers 21 inch square cushion waterproof cement making tape cutting a piece of five inch larger all around foam than the foam pulley pulleys vinyl face down a foam centered on top fold the excess up over making corners as you fold center the edges both surface over the corner folds about 15 seconds press surface together tap and tape and hold when dry cement a square vinyl over the exposed foam piping seams to make pi to make piping fabrics cover cut covered cotton cord one in join two base strip the fabric full of join strips over the cord and stitch usually a cord fat foot and cut front of the back cover panel lay pipe pipe cord along the outside edge of the one panel with the end of the center standing one inch from the end of the pipe stitch almost to the corner nor not to the corner as shown raising the cording foot pipe that covers piping on all the faces falls into place on the next side near the ends of the stitching cut piping leave three quarter inch extra and it's at the ends open the ends cut excess cord from each other turn it in, in ends casing taking tuck them in to one another and finish stitching while the right sides of the together join front of the panels leaving one side open turn the cover right side insert the cushion slipper slip stitch the open end All right, maintaining and cleaning and restoring cane. The thick bark, bark thick, thin bark of a tom palm cut in narrow strips. Remarkable resilient seating material will properly maintain all those exemptionally light and weight. The caning of the average seat weighs only two and a half ounces of the average household the gets years use of the cane seat before replacement becomes necessary. The characteristic color and mellow glow of the cane can preserve frequent cleaning using similar techniques shown in the immediate uh, right to keep the cane shape of the resilient, comfortable support in which the famous follow shrinkage technique shows at the far right of the first for, uh, sign of stretching. For all the resistance, however, the relatively delicate material of the certain res respects more susceptible damage than just a minor abuse than must often furniture material ma materials. Take special care to keep um, children from using cane chairs in their play as ladders from reaching distance objects. Replacing a damaged seat. Cane seats usually constructed a factory woven cane, which can be replaced. Procedure illustrated the right preview woven cane replacement purpose available to both open basket weave and the occasional octagonal weave. Many upholder repair shops sh uh, shop stock the material for other sources. Look in the classified telephone dextric under the listing chair cane. Canning. Cane is most um, commonly sold in 18 inch width but over widths of from 18 to 36 inch available if conventional. When it does not suit your purpose, you can buy cane as you do fabric from by the yard before attempting to install pre woven cane. Soak it in several minutes in hot water to make it pliable enough to work without cracking. Tools and material. Cane strips making chair seats sometimes backs come from several of the woods ranging from fine from about 65 thousandths of an inch to a common 130 thousandths of an inch. 
If you're undertaking a recaining job for the first time, you'll probably find a medium 115,000th of an inch wide easier to work with, even though the cane of the replacement single average size seat costs about the dollar. If the local uphill street shop does not carry the cane strip, ask your owner who, where you can buy the order or some. You also need either the recaining job for the recaining of the new seat and all remaining, reaming out the holes in an old seat or a drill or 3 16th of an inch bit for making holes around the perimeter for a new one. The thick binding cane cover the holes where the job is completed with the two wire bodkins, one separating from the strands of the other already in place of the drawing. The cane strips through them. Soak the cane in warm water until pliable. Find the center holes front of the back seat. The draw strand with the cane down from the front face for that, or for half of its length, then up to the next hole to the left, then back to the end of the strand through the corresponding back holes. Wedge the cane from, from center hole with the peg and continue thre threading the entire other end. Also, the underside up the through with the next hole across for the other end of the seat. Keep the strands parallel with the shiny side showing. Leaving some stack at this stage, then we will tighten as work process is secure to the end of the completed new strand by winding it around the running between the holes of the underside, pulling it tight with the left hand of the seat is covered and begging the end of the first strand complete with the right half. Thread the cane from side to side with the top end with the right angles front to back strands, then through another set with the try to back front to back strands on the top first, then two, then another side to side set. But this time weaving the time weaving the cane over and under intersecting strands, beginning at one corner, weaving diagonal under the sideway pairs on over the front back pairs. Take the two diagonal strands with the corner hole to get the correct spacing. Only one from other holes, weaving diagonally of the direction that is over the sideways pair under the front to back pairs. Replacing re upholstering and attached seat. Kitchen dining rooms with webbing covering material that attaches directly with the rails are covered over stuffed seats. If they're pairing a chair with the type that involves stripping off the replacing an upholstery to do the job you need. Upholsteries welding or upholsteries webbing or rubber welding burlap upholsteries welding sheet foam rubber polyethylene polyfoam one and a half to two inches thick three inch wide calico strips tags and specified adhesive covering the material strip off the old upholstery include the webbing and remove the old tack leaving the chair frame in the bear with the first and the first fix the new webbing with the seat frame and interweaving it in the space even with it take the gaps to exceed the width of the webbing. If you were upholstery webbing, pull it taut with a web stretcher, fix the end of the tacks, and cut off the ends, leaving an inch of the to be folded of the back and secured to the more to two more tacks. Rubbing webbing, rubber webbing, webbing is not turned back. Upholstery webbing must be stretched by hand five to ten percent beyond its normal length. Upholstery webbing is used to take pieces of the burlap over it, cut and pattern seat out of the stiff pattern, allow the extra one half inch all around pattern on all the foam using cavity latex foam. Lay the pattern on the smooth surface of the marking around with the ballpoint pen too. Slightly doming required gloaming glue a piece one half inch sheet latex foam and polyethylene foam two and a half inch smaller all around bottom side of the foam base. Cut out the foam with a sharp knife with a kitchen scissors just dipped in water. Make sure the cut is vertical and not jagged. Form a firm, firm cushion, either glue or the gal calco um, strip of the outside edge of the top surface of the foam, leaving just over the one inch of the each strip free of the tack the seat rails. Lay the foam on the chair seat for the line that overlap the one half inch around all four sides. A calico strip down and fix them to one three quarters of an inch tack seat rails. Four, when you smooth and enter, even the counter or drive the tacks home. Putting on the covering material using a three eighth of an inch one half inch tack. Cut the cover fabric at least one half inch larger all around the seat size to allow the turning into the tacking. Lay the cover over the sheet and tack it temporarily to the center underside of the front of the back rails using one tack per rail. Repeat the side rails. Cover should not only be now be corrected position under slight tension. Starting of the center front front working outward, driving the final tacks within two inches from the front legs. Do the same on the back side. Turn out the corners back legs, cut a V from each from each five turn the raw edges tuck the fabric down around the back of the legs running turning folded and under the seat tacking it down finish and off with the front quarters folded the material cutting away excess and fold the giving them the smooth finish six 
Reupholstering removable seats. Removable seats can be repaired with sheet foam while using covering material no bulk of the original and the seat may be dropped back into place. If you want to use the heavier material, you may have to plane up the edge of the seat so that they will fit with its new heavier covering into the chair frame. For this repair, you will be require upholstery webbing, rubber webbing, the beer lap that upholsters webbing sheet foam, rubber or poly foam, one or two, one and a half inches thick, three inch wide, calico strips, tack, specified adhesive covering material. Strip off the upholstery webbing and fit a new webbing and specify a lift up le at the left for an under over seat overstuffed seat. Tack down layer of burlap upholstery webbing is for the type to use. Use the seat pattern showing allowing an extra one half inch all around. Cut the foam from the seat. Tape the edges for the foam calico described as over seated overstuffed seat. Lay the foam on the seat frame for about one half inch overlap and then all round. Starting the center with the front edge, pull the calico down, tack, tack it temporarily with the frame underside, keeping the tension all around, even all around, drive the tack, ticks home. Pulling the final cover allow with the extra one and a half inches all around the turning tacking lay the cover on the seat hold the two together the turning them over the seat is now upside down take the cover temporarily back to the right end to, enough to compress the foam slightly the now so tight that it's resilient and restricted drive tacks home in the same way as the overstuffed seat finally tack the overlapping cover of the fabric in the corners take the corner of the fabric feet and then fold the sides and take the hold down and fabric bolt mutt bulky trim some of the excess before tacking down all right dining room furniture invisible repairs because the dining room furniture is usually expensive but and the more much more looking for some of the cannot mend with the kind can simple visual visual repair that will do with the kitchen utility furniture good furnishing calls for repairs both strong and nearly invisible more difficult ta tasks must be well worth the effort with the conservative the cost replacing Ports valuable set, providing it's possible for them to be replaced. Loose rails, broken legs, chair arms, separating ear pieces, care bowl legs. These all must be most common and difficult type developed in the dining room furniture. You will find suggestions below for the making several of such repairs in ways that restore strength of the furniture and preserve its good looks. All right, patio, lawn, and deck chair, den chairs, re renovating an inner director's chair, renovating the director's chair, new with the paintbrush, paint with the wood portion, few for yards, canvas, new seat with the back sliding. First, you must remove the screws, connect the chair with the carefully back to the legs, lift the upper elements, carefully remove the tacks, connect the seat, sling the legs, lift off of the back, sling and rip out all of the stitches of the back, sling both slings of the patterns, cutting new ones, because the seating slings are the merely flat piece of the canvas you need only with the edges to prevent unraveling. The back slinging is almost simply you must first hem the edges, then set two cylinders, one each of them. Fit over the two back uprights. You can measure the stitching of the old sling and to see how much the space allow. Repaint the chair, let it dry. Install the sling, slide it in the back sling down, upright stack of the seats, light. Sling all along the base of sling supports, put frame back together, tighten screws well. Renovating a porch or patio chair can cushion. You may make an important may make you can make up any porch patio chairs so, sofa ch ch chase lounge or glide more comfortable more pushing by putting cushions over the webbing lightweight canvas sa sailcloth be both suitable for the covering although waterproof vinyl over the final filling a poly foam is most durable choice particularly if the cushions will be exposed to the elements scatter the cushions Filled with a foam and kite capo, probably offer an easy solution to problem cushioning, porch furniture cushioning, well that will go larger pieces of chair, chase lounge, lounge lounges, you could add buttons, you will be, with tough effect, you will need two buttons, each of the tutting, toughing point, one of the cushion top on the other, and it's underside pull the attaching thread between the two tight and off to achieve the desired depth finish tying the thread bottom to the underside plastic tape webbing the fortune porch and patio furniture can be found in most hardware stores although you should not expect the material to last more than a year so fabric and brands carry guarantees concerning the durability to be sure that the maximum possible wear after the webbing is wood webbing indoor furniture do not however use spikes stretchers plastic webbing tears tears easily otherwise other types of stretchers might usually pull the web web tape taut but you find it easier to just to stretch the material by hand 
Hard plastic covered is relatively new form and upholstery pours and patio furniture are very easy to use. Simply wind it back and further across the chair. One of most of the chairs are built to take with the material of the line looped of the ribbon to under and flat of the frame sketch of the frame looped and the stretch again and again. When you're winding, do not cut the line. Keep it a constant and you will begin to install a new cord having some of the old cord in place as the pattern follows. Cord canvas, another fairly new upholstery possibility. The canvas is stretched across the frame, trying the canvas to the rails and strong cord to renovate the chair with the cord canvas. Cut the canvas somewhat smaller than the frame opening of the hem edges. This is over the grommets reinforced button holes near the edge, spacing holes about two inches apart. You are then ready to use the cord through the holes, winding the cord tightly around the rails as you go. Chapter 7 Plumbing How to Keep It in Working Order.